guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing my top 15 of 2015. I initially was not going to film this video, but I kept on thinking about it, and I was like, you know what, let me do it since I don't do monthly or current favorites, and I wrote down a list of things. This is all from memory, by the way. I used to keep a list of things that I bought throughout the year, but I kind of stopped, and hopefully this is things that I used in 2015 for the first time or bought in 2015 and really I mean these things did stand out so they are my favorites and the way I like to do them is things that I bought in 2015 so before I get started I just want to talk a little bit about Blizzard Jonas I hope those of you affected and I was one of them I live in New York City I hope those of you affected stayed warm and dug yourselves out because there was a lot of snow I think it was the second highest uh, on record and it's beautiful but it's it was a lot of snow so I'm still digging myself out now Ava had a lot of fun if you follow me on Instagram on Instagram uh, I have posted a few pictures at first it was too big too high for her and she just sunk in but I kind of patted down the snow and she had a lot of fun she loves the snow it's really really fun to watch her in there so I'm going to get started and the first thing I'm going to follow this list because I try to do it another way and I got confused. So the first thing I want to talk about is my favorite way to apply foundation and I never thought that this day, I never thought I would find it, there would be a day where I wouldn't say a brush is of my favorite, like a flat top kabuki, flat top kabuki brush or something like that would not be my preferred method but here it is this is the beauty blender it's dirty um because i use it so much and i do recommend you wash it after each use it's just i've tried using it a couple of times without washing and it's, it's kind of feels icky and um it's i do wash this after every use because my face is so sensitive but this is just has become my favorite way to apply foundation. I don't know how to explain it. And you know, you have to get the original Beauty Blender. I've tried a few dupes and they're just not the same. There's something about this that once you wet it and you apply the foundation, it just gives you just, just this really nice finish. I did use it today. Just a nice finish on the face, an airbrush look. Um, your makeup does not look cakey and even though I like full coverage and people like to use this for kind of like thinner coverage, I feel like you could just go back and just perfect it and it just looks it's just so easy to use. I love, love, love the Beauty Blender and I would highly recommend it. I Like I said, I have used other kinds and it just doesn't compare. So love the Beauty Blender for, uh, later on in 2015 because I had, I had it. And I just was, I guess, afraid to use it because of my past experiences with other beauty blenders. But once I started using it, fell in love. And unless there comes out like a crazy unique brush, I'm probably going to stick with the beauty blender to apply my foundation. And I do only use it for foundation. I know you can use it for powder. And sometimes I use it for cream, product, cream blushes, but I don't really wear cream brushes that much. Okay, next is the Turby Band Turby Twist. Oh no, there goes one of my favorites. Okay, I'll get it when I talk about it. Uh, this is the Turby Band Turby Twist. I had shown this in a haul. Uh, kind of liked it, but felt like it was a hassle. But since I started working, I take a shower at night. In the morning, I use. I'm a very rigorous, I guess. When I'm very rigorous when it comes to washing my face. I would throw water all over my hair and get soap all around or uh, the my face cleanser all around and it was just a mess. So I started using this and I can't see myself without it. I use it every morning um, and I wouldn't use it for makeup. Some of you might be thinking that oh, to not get like powder and foundation over at your hairline. Um, it would work, but it really doesn't. You can see the line of demarcation where your makeup ends. Uh, but yeah, look at how it, well it just keeps your hair safe and it doesn't get wet. Just love this. And um, I can't, like I said, I can't see myself not using this. So really, really love that. Um, how many times can I say love it? I love all of these things, but that just is... A time saver in the morning I don't have to worry about like my hair getting wet and just it's a great thing so I would recommend that uh, next are a couple of brushes these are the up and up brushes 
and I only have these two. Every time I look at the, these are sold at Target only. Every time I look at the Target display, I'm just not interested in the other ones. So you guys will have to let me know which, if you do like these, which other brushes I should get. Because they have a couple sets. I'm just not sure. But this is the one I use to apply foundation when I choose to use a brush. Um, just really soft and dense enough. I like... Uh, more on the denser side but not like super super dense um when i do apply with when i do apply foundation with a brush uh, this is just the right denseness and it's super soft now this is an all-star brush if you saw my getting ready with me in the car my last video this brush i use for everything so i use it to apply highlighter i use it to apply blush i use it to apply uh contouring which is probably the main way I use this brush but I use it for everything else in a pinch this just is a great brush but you could turn it so if you see it this way you could turn it, it's a little bit pinch and it's perfect for that uh then we have a nail polish this is the Revlon top coat in holographic pearl and I initially got it for I thought it was going to look like what's in the bottle unfortunately it does not but this transforms like I said, it says transforming effects. This transforms any nail polish into something different. It really makes, um, if you have a dull nail polish or something, a nail polish that you don't love as much, um, this will transform it into something really special. I especially like it with white or yellow nail polish. It makes it look really, really pretty. And then number five is the Maybelline Color Blur Lip Pencils. Some of you might not be surprised if this is on the list because i just love these so much i have every single one of them just love these these are matte pencils but they are creamy and it even says it on here it says maybelline color blur, color blur by lip studio cream matte pencil and smudger i don't use the smudger side but these are just so nice on the lips now because they are creamy they don't last as long, but because they're matte, they last longer than, you know, other lip products. But I'm, I wanted to swatch a few of them for you. Okay. So this one is, I like to mob it. And just show you how creamy that is. Ugh. So, so nice. I'm not even, I don't even have it on my lips and I could just tell that they're just so creamy. And this one is Berry Misbehaving. And I have a video of me swatching all these lipsticks. And then this is the darkest one, Plum Please. So just, you saw how these applied. They're just so, so nice on the lips and beautiful color too. Very, very pigmented. Easy to apply because it is a pencil. Next is a j crew triangle necklace oh and i forgot to mention that this is going to include well obviously you saw from the turby band uh, by turby twist this is going to be just uh, not just makeup mostly makeup but other random things this is a necklace by j crew and this is probably my favorite necklace from them it's a triangle necklace and just so so gorgeous look at that I love how simple and just classic it is and I feel like this is a statement necklace but it's really classic and simple at the same time. Um, I love the bold in your face statement necklaces but this one is just really really classic and very very pretty. So that's one of my favorites. Then we have the e.l.f. contour palette. The ones that the ones that come in this kind of packaging. The blushes that come in these. Those are probably my favorite things from e.l.f. Besides the uh, setting spray. So you get these four colors. And this is great for when you are... Oh, I swatched that off weird. but So you get a highlighter. You get two contour colors and a powder. This is great for on the go. If you like to... Uh, bring makeup with you or if you're traveling you can't go wrong with having these and you could also use this for eyeshadows as well then we have city color products and <laughs> i guess i'm kind of cheating here um but i <laughs> 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so these are, I found at five below and they're very inexpensive, but they're so pigmented. The first product I'm going to show you is called the sunlight, sunlight trio blush, highlight, and bronzer. This is again, another product that you can use for your eyes and your face. These are all shimmer, so um, this is probably better for the summertime when you want a little bit more glow. But again, super pigmented. I have this one on my inner corner, but let me just... So right there, this is like just a really great eye look. And that blush is showing up really, really not pigmented, but it's a beautiful soft blush. And then these are highly pigmented sorry i'm cleaning off my hands here uh highly pigmented these are um this one is flower blush and blossom and the cool thing about this one is you kind of get four uh blushes in one and if you mix it all around you get this really pretty color but this one is probably my favorite and they can get really pigmented, so you have to be careful, but you do get a beautiful color. And the one I'm wearing on my face, this is a City Color Mosaic Blush in Pink Glow. And because it has um, kind of like this brown mauve color and these, this light pink, uh, you get a very wearable, very muted blush. So, sorry, because my hand is wet. This kind of looks muddy, but that is a, just a really nice everyday blush. And the same thing goes for this one I have. It's in Coral Glow, and this just gives you a brightness to your face, a useful glow. And like I said, these are um, these blushes are matte. The Sunlit Trio, Sunlight Trio is all shimmer but this has like a peachiness to it that just I feel like it's a bit it's more natural but brightening hope that makes sense okay then we have Jordan the Jordana matte lipsticks and I love these I don't know just the payoff and they last forever that's the one I'm wearing um this is matted girl and I'll swatch it on my hand because I don't know. Well, I do know. My camera is, <laughs> is not like a HD camera or anything like that. So my colors get muted and the lighting in here and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so that is Matic Girl, the one I'm wearing. And it's just so, so pretty. It's a little bit hard to apply, but the color is so nice and it lasts for a long time. So I don't mind it that much. This is Matt Dare. And then I'll show you this one. A lot of you would probably like this one. It's matte classy. So these are great. And then the Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. Okay. I thought I had separated these, but I guess I kept these together. Um, this is the, I have the Shade and Light, so this is the Contour Palette, and this is the Shade and Light Eye Palette. And this was my first dip into Kat Von D. I always wanted to try her foundation, her Locket Foundation, Locket In Foundation, and her eyeliner. But I tried these first, and I love these. I think they're super pigmented. I'm wearing, um... Only this one eyeshadow in here, but I just wanted, sorry, I'm wearing this one. Um, I, I just wanted a little bit of crease color, but these are just so pigmented. And this is a black. And then this one is my favorite. So it's kind of like a reddish brown color and it's so pretty um, as a crease color. So this is just really, really great. It comes in... So there's cool, warm, and natural, and natural, neutral, and just great for every day, or if you just want a matte look. And then the contour palette, I am wearing the darkest color in here, and I feel like it's still really wearable. So this is what the contour palette looks like, and I use this color on as a contour, and then this color under my eye because it's a little bit more warm and for days that I just want a natural contour this 
two these two I will use and this is also great for your eyes as well so very I guess I've been liking products that are very multi-purpose then we have the prestige single eyeshadows these are were on clearance at Bed Bath um, but they are the ones that look like these and they're just I'm gonna just swatch a few of them I have about six or so and the one I'm wearing is in Bewitched and I also want to swatch where's the that green one so so pretty okay so this is Bewitched and I have that on my lids and they're just these are great for those single one eyeshadow looks just perfect for that so pigmented Look at that. And then this one is in Hypnotized. Love this blue. Blue green. Oh, so, so pretty. So these are, like I said, pigmented, last for a long time, and just great. Really, really great. And unfortunately, Bed Bath doesn't sell them anymore. And I don't really see Prestige products. I think they sell them at Ulta sometimes. Uh, I don't really visit Ulta, so I don't know that much about it. But I think I have seen Prestige there. Okay, next are the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipsticks. And they're the ones that come in this tube. And I have two colors here that I want to show you from... I don't think it's their newest collection, but it was still from a while ago. So, Purple Lipstick, I haven't found one that I just loved and looked right on me. But this one is Vibrant Violet. And as you can tell, it's pretty purple and matte. That's just, I guess, you know, last year was the year of the matte lipsticks and contour palettes. Look at that. Just so beautiful. And it's a little bit different, but I really, really like that uh, purple lipstick on me. And then this is Burgundy Blush. Looking really brown on camera. But it's just rich burgundy Merlot color love this i got a lot of compliments on this when i wore this for christmas and i wore was it christmas or thanksgiving one of those holidays and i wore it very lightly at first and then i went full on later on i guess i just wanted it to be a little bit more glamorous uh but both ways they my family really liked it on me okay next are wax candles and or wax melts so they're the ones that kind of look like this and I've just been really enjoying these. They're so easy to use. And um, one thing I did not know, though, was you could put back. So what's supposed to be in here is purple. But this is a frosted cookie or something like that. If you are done with one set and you want to use another, you could just pour it back into its container. And they're still good for using in, in the future, which I think is awesome. So this is like the product that keeps on giving but just so easy to use sold everywhere and i really really have been enjoying wax melts next are warby parker sunglasses um they don't have to be warby parker but i guess i should say polarized sunglasses have been a favorite uh from from when i got them until i mean they will be going forward and that's the thing that fell okay here they are uh, oh, they weren't even in the case. So I didn't have to pick them up. Okay. Uh, but these are my sunglasses that I have been wearing every day. And I guess, people, you know, people think winter time, the sun goes away. But really, the sun is fierce. And I see people driving and they just can't see. And you need to have a pair of polarized sunglasses. It's very important. And um, if you want to if you want are you looking for a brand um that's not too expensive but still a really good pair of sunglasses i would i would recommend warby parker this is the lowry uh style and just i have been wearing these non-stop and i feel safer wearing these when the sun is out because it really blocks out the sun's rays get yourself a pair of polarized sunglasses they do make a difference i have so many sunglasses that are not polarized and when i wear them i just there's no point because they're not really protecting my eyes and i can't see because of the sun uh then the last thing and this wasn't in any order but last year i was obsessed obsessed with kimonos i have let me count because they're right here one two three four 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I was a little bit obsessed with kimonos. They're all different, but I'm going to pull out a couple of my favorites. This one is from Target, and it's one of my shorter ones, and I just love this print. It's busy, but it's, I don't know, because it's kind of shorter and the colors are a bit soft, I just love this one. Another one of my favorites is, where is that one? Right here. This one is a little bit longer on the sides, but I love that there's floral and then uh, there's, it's a floral print, but then there's polka dots here. So that's one of my favorites. And then it's like, so, it's so hard to choose. Um, I guess this one. This one's just a really fun print. And again, fringe. It's kind of hard to find a kimono without a fringe. Uh, but yeah, kimonos have just been my one of my absolute clothing accessories, I guess you could call it. Um, just adds pizzazz to any outfit and so easy to wear. And perfect for spring and summer um, when you want a little bit of extra coverage, but it's hot and you don't want to wear like, you know, a coat or anything. So that is my top 15 of 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You will have to let me know what videos you want to see from me because I've been kind of just lost for ideas and things to film about. I do have a list, but they're just, I don't know, they're things that if I have nothing else to do, I can film, but I just want to do videos that you guys want to see. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I have, I'm still into makeup, but like I have been saying recently, it's just not as fierce as it used to be or just not this like I need to have everything at the store uh kind of feeling I have been if you saw my getting ready with me in the car I think I mentioned it earlier um these are the products that I'm trying to use up which I had said I was going to stop but I've just been in that like decluttering and using up my stash kind of mode sorry I had trouble putting it back um and then there's a this drawer I have that has all my newer makeup that some a lot of it I haven't shown um so maybe I could do a video on this basket right here and just talk to you about um what I'm thinking at the moment with these products and I'm gonna do a haul video so um video still coming I just want to see or know what kind of videos you want to see for me I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye